Hello, my name is Sarah, and I'm with the NASA at My Library Project and Cornerstones of Science. Today, we're going to get you started with the Sun Earth Moon Connections Kit brought to you through your state library agency and the NASA at My Library Project. So, let's see what's in this kit for you. First off, there's this wonderful facilitation guide that you will use to help you through the activities and learn more about the science tools and presenting to your patrons about how the sun, earth, and moon affect each other and affect us. In this facilitation guide, there's a great checklist and some NASA mission highlights and a survey that we hope that you will use at the end to let us know more about how this kit has been helpful to you. All right, let's get started with what activities are in the kit. First off, there's a act wonderful activity called Modeling Meaningful Eclipses. You may know it as yardstick eclipse as well. And you will set your yardsticks up to have an earth and a moon. And you'll be able to present how um, there are solar eclipses and lunar eclipses, all right? So one way is a um, solar eclipse during the day where uh, you'll want to have the moon make a shadow onto the earth. And if your sun is kind of over here, you can use the go outside with the sun or use kind of a spotlight, or you can show lunar eclipses, um, how they work at night and how the earth will make a shadow onto the onto the moon. So fun activity and can be done with multiple people because you have five sets of these in your kit and a great one again for uh, youth and adults. All right. Great. The next activity is called UV Kid. And yes, it sounds like a kid activity um, and it definitely can be. You're going to receive your chenille sticks, your pony beads and some UV beads and a uh, fun activity to work with, with youth and families to understand how ultraviolet light affects our bodies. So these ultraviolet beads right here will change colors when they're exposed to sunlight. And then when they're not exposed, you'll have to find out what they, <laughs> what they look like then too. But just know you can also change this activity to make bracelets or keychains. So that might be more uh, effective around te teens and adults as well. Another activity is the uh, sorting games. Now this can be a, an active or a passive program in your library. You have these cards. These are actually the answer sheets here and the cards are here. You'll have um, nine different cards for how big, how far and how hot, right? And it's really fun to see how people kind of sort themselves on what they think on how big things are and how far things are. And the most challenging one is how hot. And I did not know how hot lightning was. Maybe you did, but I did not. <laughs> so great fun activity. Again, showing how, you know, things, things are affected um, uh, between one another, different scale models. Um, these are all fun, fun activities. Um, the final activity is jump to Jupiter. Again, a wonderful scale model um, for not only the distances of our objects in our solar system, but the size of objects in our solar system. So this one does both, but you can kind of decide what you, how you want to do these activities. Again, you can jump to Jupiter if you have um, some youth in your programs, or you can maybe just stride to Earth, maybe, <laughs> if, um, if you have more adults in your program, or stride to Jupiter as well, but uh, make it work for your for your audience. So these are fun. You have uh, your, your pomegranate, the size, which is kind of the size of your sun, and then you have other objects that represent uh, the other objects within our solar system. So again, a fun, uh, fun, fun activity to look at the, the distances and the size of things in our solar system. The science tool that you'll receive with this kit is the sun oculars. Now these are for ages 13 and up, so again, an older, older audience, but these can be really fun to look at sunspots or even eclipses, uh, uh, solar eclipses during the day. And you may think that these are broken when you first receive them because it is very dark when you <laughs> look through them. The only time you'll be able to see anything is when you're directly looking at the sun with these sun oculars. 
So the best way to do that is um, make sure that they kind of fit your eyes by turning these here. And then uh, you'll want to um, put your hand up where the sun is. You can kind of locate the sun, but don't, don't look directly at the sun with your eyes. And then once you kind of bring your sinoculars up, you can move your hand away and um, make some adjustments to the eyepieces here or making sure again that they're kind of fitting, fitting your eyes. You can log sunspots over time, again, or look at a solar eclipse with these. So these can be really fun, uh, but making sure you're taking a little bit extra precaution and have the right um, age audience to use these. Finally, we have a couple of books with the kit. Uh, the Moon Bear's Shadow, a great book. Again, how the sun <laughs> uh, affects us and how we may not know how that happens. Uh, great books for younger audiences and for story time. And then Dr. Seuss Osei, Can You Say What's the Weather Today? Uh, we also receive a tactile book about the uh, lunar craters, moon's craters, and it's a great way to bring in education um, through in a tactile way, very, very different way. All right, so also with the facilitation guide, you can find um, some great links to all these um, activities. There's videos. Uh, you can find web links where you might be able to purchase some of these activities if that's something you want to, want to do later. And um, really, really hope you, that you um, give us feedback with the survey. So thank you so much from the NASA at My Library team and your state library agency.